Hello, welcome back to episode 77 of our Rogue Tech career playthrough. This episode we're going to jump into the uh, defense, I think, of Sarmaxa. But first we need to go through the barracks and make sure everybody's got their maximum skills. Alright, we get Bang here going for Phantom because he's flying around in some real thinly armored stuff. Right, beach ball, getting the piloting so we can get our melee accuracy up. Calamari has his ghost. We'll go ahead and get his gunnery up. We'll say his warlord getting the guts up for resolve generation. And we'll get the piloting up. Sure. Flycatcher, Foxtrot, Frost, Gale. Alright, Gale. So I think we were taking sensor lock for him. Yeah, just because we don't have any of those. Training confirmed, Commander. All right. Uh, goggles. Need more resolve generation so we could get there. Do we get any resolve cost? Randomness. GM tunes 80% GM. Uh, I think we get Resolve Generation, 3%. Yeah. Alright. Sorry to bounce right now. Alright, Goggles, Gravedigger. What do we get for Gravedigger? What do you want? Get the tactics up. Uh, Happy, also going to need Phantom flying in a very easy to hit Commander? artillery thing. Hellhound, we're just going to march everything up together for now. Moonlight, uh, what are you in? Cattlemaster. Uh, we were going to make you Berserker as well, I guess. Yeah, with the shotgun, just get in there. A pointer. Uh... Yeah, get the tactics up. Rain. Tactics and piloting. Ribeye. Uh, what are you in right now? You're in. You're in the Griffin. Going for tactics for the Griffin. Tank. Uh, tactics for you. T-Bone, trying to get Phantom as you pilot battle armor, maybe Commando, Standing yes, to save that, All right, Texas, you can get sensor lock as well, because, oh, and also, you know, just bump up your gunnery while you're at it. And then, Tupelac here. Scimitar, but he hasn't driven in a while. We need to bring him on some missions. Uh, he's got lead foot. Probably should have had some uh, evasion plus the lead foot. Alright, and vampire. Do we give you. Warlord, I think. Yep. Alright. That's everybody skilled up. Head into the command center and defend the planet against the Steiner invasion. All right, uh, there we go. Attack contract is started. All right, gauntlet. Details will be provided in route. Seems to be a battle mission. Let's see. All right, good. Four and a half skulls. No weird stuff. Uh, we will take max salvage. Because we have plenty of days until the uh, next pay period, even though we are in danger of bankruptcy at the moment. All right, is this what we want to take? No, we want to clear out. All right. Uh... Ostwar is fire support. Avatar is fire support. Dervish is fire support. Marauder is our new command mech. Ostal and Wolverine. 
So let's go ahead and load these guys up. Calamari and the Yastol. We'll say the Wolverine. We're going to send. He's going to be in the Hunchback. So actually, yeah, pull the Dervish out of here for now. Uh, hunchback is going to be Gravedigger. Goggles in the Ostwar. We have Frost in the Avatar. Who's going to be our Marauder guy? I think Gale. We're going to switch him out of the Whitworth. She has Brawler now, but I think we're going to put him in the Marauder. He's got the ECM Suites, C3 Master, yeah, he's got Sensor Lock, so his primary thing, like, even though he has damage, his primary thing is not going to be damage, it's going to be being a Command Mech. Alternatively, we could put some, like, Rain in there with all of these abilities. Uh, yeah, I think he's fine the way he is right now. Or we could swap Texas out of the Fenrir's. But I like how he's doing that right now. Alright, so we have 375. Alright, Lance B. Alright, Dervish. We can get one more mech now. Uh, who do we bring? I think we bring the slightly... Oh, no, no, we didn't fix our... <laughs> Oops, we didn't fix our battle armors. Okay. Uh, we'll bring the Shadowhawk with rain. And the Dervish with vampire. And so we're at 485 tons. We did two bump ups to our uh, total tonnage that we can bring. So it should be well over 600 now. Manticore with Ubros. The Thunderer with Pointer. Uh, we're at 675 and we haven't gotten any warnings yet. Okay, we like this. Right, who else do we bring? All right, we lost our, uh, our other chopper. My brain is blanking on what it was, but we can bring, we were just talking about how we didn't have, two black had not been going, or was it Ubros? Anyway, uh, two black come in the Scimitar, we're in the Lowlands, or do we want, do we want Happy bringing along, yeah, I think we want the artillery support from Happy. We're at 705, and we can still bring the Finrear with Texas. And we need to remember to fix these two. I always forget to fix the battle armors in between missions. Alright, we have 713 tons. We have not maxed out our tonnage. This is uh, good. That means we can get bigger mechs and still bring everybody. Because we bring a bunch of 55 tonners, 75, 60, 70 bring their heavy vehicles, 75, 60, 55, kind of a lighter vehicle, but, and we've got more mechs now. So let's go ahead, jump in, and see if we can finish this battle off in a reasonable amount of time, given the amount of firepower that we're bringing. This is probably more firepower than we've brought on some of our previous missions that were higher skull rating, so we are hoping for a quick turnaround. Hopefully a quick load time too. Do wish we had remembered to check our battle armors. I was not expecting them to be disabled from uh, equipment failures from their damage. That was uh, it's not something that uh, I thought about checking. I'll have to remember that, and the next time we take some battle armor damage and also do a travel session.
Things are moving. Pending 526, 224. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Right, we're planning a joint patrol operation with our allies in a dangerous region of the planet. Oh, we have to defend. Uh, this is a battle where we have to keep a friendly lance alive. So we will have allies on the field. That's good to know. But the problem is we have to actually keep them alive. So that, and usually this style of mission, there's like two or three enemy drops. So even though we'll see one initial lance when we come in, probably, that's not likely to be all of the forces we have to fight off. We're expecting major enemy resistance. Plan for a heavy drop. I mean, we're dropping literally as heavy as we can, barring about 5 to 10 tons on the Karna versus something like a striker. Alright, we're looking at a complex, messy situation. Assist the destruction of a Lyran Lance. We also need to protect a Capellan Lance. Alec, in theory, the ones doing all the work, practice assume the worst. Okay, so theoretically. Alright. Capellan Lance Captain, good to have you with us. Alright. Ally Lance is right and it will be assisting us primary objective. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. We have to keep two units alive and two separate lances. Okay. We are. <laughs> Things are not great. Alright. We want to get as close to them as we can, which doesn't seem like it's going to be that close. Oh, we can come in on this side. Okay. Yeah, we like this. All right. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. All right, we're dropping on the other side, so if they want to attack our allies, they have to present their backs to us. Why are there... Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, look. Another Ifrit. I know what we're going to try and capture. Line holder. Oh, boy. Catapults. All right, let's see what our allies brought to the table. Catapult, Vindicator, Hunchback, Hunchback, and Avatar, Orion, Marauder, Sunder, 90 tonner, 1320 armor, okay. So definitely brought some firepower. Uh, they, brought, they have artillery. We have an atlas and the line holder. All right. Yes, Commander. Prep all of the equipment. Let's see. Run down the hill, get into range. All right. This is going to be a bit of a mess. This is just the first turn. Nobody can shoot. We're positioning. We're building up evasion. Ooh, what was... A Shiltron Prime. Alright. Ready for orders. Swing wide with Wolverine. Oh, he looks mean. 
turning some of their attention to us. Hopefully, well, unfortunately, our allies don't have a lot of... Oh, they've got the catapult, okay. But I was going to say, they're not going to be able to get a lot of shots on rear armor. Alright. Uh, frost. Sprinting back into the trees. Don't have easy on him. Probably should move it to him. Right, happy. Happy is retreating as far as he can. Because he doesn't want to get shot down, and he is in a paper airplane, basically, at this point. What do you want? Grave digger. We've got a Gauss rifle. Also going to sprint. We want to kind of keep that right hand side with the extra armor facing our opponent. That's where our main gun is. And that's also where we want to absorb most of the shots. Alright, active ECM. Ostward, switch to standard. We didn't move far enough to get anybody in the ECM shield. Or jamming, I guess. He looks like fun. Alright. Uh, do we launch UAV? I don't think we do at this point. I think what we do is we run down the hill into some cover. And... That's that for now. Yeah, we're hoping Mr. Catapult here... Alright. Active... Oh, so that one starts in active mode. Alright, we can sprint... up into cover. Prep our anti-aircraft missiles for the Ifrit. Alright, retreat... Uh, all the way back here. Long range still, probably standard and acid. Right, all right, vampire. Active, remote sensors on. Sprint back into the trees. Good, all right, rain. Two SRM sixes. We oh, you have like one jump jet. All right, sprint you up. No shooting, just get run. into the cover. All right, seven evasion. It's not gonna save you, but you know, it's something. Right, we'll be out in the open with the Manticore. We might lose it. It might draw a lot of fire, but we do have eight evasion on him. So that should be something. Then we've got Pointer in the Thunderer. 215 frontal armor. Can you survive a hit without being in cover? Probably not. We'll pull you back into cover. 7 evasion. We like to see it. Alright, top of the round. There, if it's probably going first. Yeah. Not ideal. We've got a few our vehicles are rolling low on their initiatives. So they are likely to get blasted pretty hard. Yeah, he had a lot of choices, a lot of calculation to do. He's getting jammed three different ways. He's firing at our avatar. Alright. Oh, 
this is this is not ideal. That was a big hit. We do not want to lose Avatar. We do not want to lose Frost. All right. Uh, Awaiting orders. Texas. Yeah, come up here. Fire into the sky. Twenty seven percent, it's not terrible. Mm. A few more hits than we expected. But man oh, and we're in a minefield. Do we bring a PPC? Ooh, right, the the Shadowhawk doesn't have one anymore. We could attack ground with the um Karnov with the artillery. But that's kind of risky. Deal damage to our allies. Oh. There's that. Our friendly avatar is shooting the Thunderhawk in the back. We're trying to. Someone sneezes on our avatar, it falls over. And Frost takes another point of damage. This is really bad for this campaign. That's one of our mechs that we don't want to lose, and doesn't need to be in repair bay for too long. There's a lot of our damage and fire support, and also he's one of our better pilots, meaning the recovery time for him is going to be a problem associated with that. Alright, get damage onto the enemy Orion from our friendly hunchback. Now they get a turn. He moves at 14? Oh, he's in trouble. Who moves it? 19. Let's see. Ah, our hunchback, Gravedigger, moves at 19. Alright, so their Atlas can go. Shiltron Prime. What is this thing? It looks like two LRM 20s. Maybe Arrow 4s? What do you want? Alright, let's. Sprint up. Let's roll. Oh, that's gonna be a big hit, we hope. Yeah, give him the rockets too. Thunderhawk, alright, what's he's got? 170 and 165. Oh, we need to get around back of him. Ooh. Head hit, okay. So he's gonna be less effective. Friendly Vindicator, firing a PPC, nice, hit the Orion. Alright, get the Atlas, oh no. Yep, alright, here we go with the knockdown. Not much armor left in that location. Yep, settled, panic, knockdown. Critical, critical, two bits of damage. All right. Okay, it's not going well. Not going well at all. Who else is going for them? Panzer Hops 2000, okay. Firing on the friendly Hunchback. All right, dual say. Not great. Pretty good. We'd rather have this. Roger. Let's try to wear these guys down. Thankfully, they're real easy to hit because they're big and they're slow. All right, so we're running him hot too. Elite Flanker. Right, friendly Marauder, 4T. Ooh, shooting him in the back, nice. Where'd he hit? The thing only has 55 armor in the back.
We just stand and shoot him. Terrible shot. All right. On my way. Step forward with the Ostwar. 99% chance. 94 with dead fires. Yeah, we're definitely taking that shot. Uh, go for it. Double crit. Okay, his Gauss rifle ammo is is destroyed. Yes, Commander. All right. Move order received. Sure. Give him the rest of the rockets. Going from the direct front, so we can take the remaining torso off. Hopefully. All right, he's down. Actually. Love to see it. Love to see it. Alright. Enemy Thunderhawk down. Friendly Orion. Stepping up the hill. Firing on the line holder. Doing some okay damage. Yeah, oh, got an arc attached. Alright. Good to go. Calamari. Marching up. We're gonna bring him to duel with this Atlas. Uh, what we got? Listen, kills? Sure. Use them. See if he has AMS. Does not appear he has AMS. Alright, who gets to go on their team? Okay, there Orion gets to go, and he'll be the last one that they move, and then we'll get some chances to shoot at this Ifrit with our SAM missiles. Well, that was a lot of rockets, but I don't feel like... Oh, I say I don't feel like they did much. But they certainly overheated him a bit. Plus 48 heat, yeah. Alright. Enemy Orion. Missing most of his shots. Ooh. Hitting quite a bit of missiles, though, on our friendly Orion. Waiting for orders. Uh, standard missiles. No, that's not what I wanted to do. All right. You know what? We can go incendiaries. Alright, road sensor's off. Targeting him. What kind of minefield is this? Alright, maybe we can... Yep, yeah, we're just gonna risk the mines. Plus 12 heat. 14 armor damage to the legs, but we, all right, we got 18% chance to hit. Not fantastic, but we're just trying to use up some of the AMS, and we tagged him. All right, which means, all right, we are gonna come over here and hit this Atlas with some artillery, and hopefully he does not turn and shoot us. Uh, shape charge, direct fire, 92%. And we missed. Alright, game trolling, 92% miss. Very unlucky. Alright, friendly catapult, shooting the Atlas in the back. Did one damage per missile. Alright, we got a manticore. It's gonna come over here. Okay. And it's gonna shoot the Ifrit in the rear. Dead fire missiles, yeah, real low chance to hit. Unfortunate. Bad luck. He's just got two even with the tag, he's and oh he nine for nine to the AMS. Alright, let's 
sprint the thunder out. Took a bit of damage. 19%, 65. We're gonna take the 65. As you wish. Yeah, we need that PPC hit on the Atlas. Increased ECM jamming. Alright. Gale and the Marauder. March your butt over here. Everything targeting. Yeah, we're gonna fire the six. Eh, we're not gonna fire the sixteen percent rockets. Yes, we are. Don't fire the AMS. Uh, give them everything. Ooh, we hit both. Uh, both anti-air missiles hit. Solid damage. Let's check his armor level on that side. The Forty-eight and ninety-two in the front. So we want to all right, stand up. Okay. Ready for action. Four percent with the Artemis. Uh five percent with the Sam. Alright. You know what? We're we're taking a shot and we're not firing the lasers because they're impossible. Alright, five percent. We got three hits and a partial hit. All right, tank. Tank now has some Sams. 22% short range, 27%. Sure. Uh, fire away. Oh, we actually hit couple of the SRMs on a 1% chance. Something, the, the rolls just ain't right right now. <laughs> the two hit rolls ain't right. There's, there's something fishy going on. I don't know what, what this game's coded to with its uh, random hit rolls, but that math ain't mathin'. That math is not mathing. All right, what's he gonna do? Shoot somebody in the back. The Ostal. Ouch. Tandem rockets. Unsettled, all right. Man, we really, really need some better anti-air stuff. I mean, we have the surface-to-air missiles, and their to-hit chance is still so low. Got to get, like, sensor locks and something else. Okay, there's some arrow fours. Might need to swing our artillery piece around to start hitting theirs. And we definitely need to get a couple of VTOLs in to take care of enemy artillery pieces. Big hit from the hunchback, and it's barely scratched the armor from the look of it. Friendly avatar firing at the Ifrit. Single laser and missed. Alright. Enemy line holder is overheated. Still firing on our manticore. Ooh, and our AMS. 10 out of 10, that's a, that's new. That's probably the first time that has happened. All right, his rear armor is 95. This side armor is very low, so we can try and punch through here. Yeah, 32 and 28, maybe we can take him out, let's see. Oh, yeah, no luck. No hits like that first round. Only 11 damage. Only 11 damage. Friendly Marauder. No shots. Let's go over here. Darrow Ryan. No. 
there. Something kind of skipped its turn. All right. Trying to take shots that aren't risking friendly fire. Save those rockets. Okay, Gauss rifles straight through. Nice. 50 50 shot and took him out. Yeah, I do too, actually. My thoughts exactly. Right. Friendly catapult is. Dropping some sort of swarm missile barrage. What is it already? All right, you want a nice clean shot into Moving. the enemy atlas. Yeah, sixty percent is good enough to fire the rockets. Alpha All right, head hit. We like it. Severity one injury. All right, so he's gonna get a chance to move and shoot, or they're gonna use their Orion. We'll see which one they choose to move first. All right, the Orion moves first, which means we get another shot on the. Oh, oh. big hit on the friendly hunchback, but we do get another shot on the Atlas before. Gail in the Marauder or Calamari. I think we come up here and give him our best shot right in the side. Let's see. Yeah, pretty low armor. Listen kills. Hit him. Structure is exposed, but we didn't crit anything. All right, so he's gonna turn. Probably blast our Ostal right in the face. Oh no! Went for the Ostwar. Hit the Finra a little. Yeah. AMS saved him pretty good. Let's see. Yeah, that's a fine shot. Recover. Not likely to hit anybody. 40% on the rockets is good enough. Get anything important? No. All right. Good PPC hit from our friendly Vindicator. The reason their allies could go twice is because it's two separate forces. They really should have that like a blue X instead of two blue uh, chevrons, probably. I mean, it's good damage out of the Orion, but unfortunately, it's all straight in the front. All right, keep the long range, high evasion rotation. We will direct 92%. There we go. 57 armor damage and stressed. Okay. We like stressed. That causes him not to be as good of a pilot. As long as this is taking, as tough as the enemy forces is, hopefully. Holy cannoli. That thing hits so hard. Acknowledged. What's his heat? Do we give him incendiaries? I think we do. I think we just dump another 40 incendiaries on him and overheat him. Only plus 17 heat. That seems low. But it pairs well with our 
uh, what's it called? Our thermal imaging systems that we have on some of our mechs. So let's say we have heat vision minus one difficulty because we overheated him, which is nice. Uh, do we give him 94%? Oh, there are only 20 shots left, so we fire... You know what? We fire them like that. That's what we do. Roger that. Firing on target. Want some more? Uh, All out of nice. Alright, ejected. Okay, so we don't want Sam's, we want standard fire, long range. I'm gonna move to here. I'm gonna take a little mine damage. Yeah, we're not too worried about that. Alright. 19%, 15%. Oops. That's not what we want to do. We want to rotate the camera. 24%. Yeah, we're going to take that real long range 24% shot. Firing on target. Right into the line holder. Soften him up a bit more for our friends on the other side of the hill. Commander. And start sprinting our way over the hill to try and hit their artillery piece. If somebody, like, I started with two lances, if they have another drop after this, this is going to be a long mission. Alright, uh, I think we carefully step out of the minefield. We're going to take a little bit of lag damage, but we're not too worried about it. Alright, 25 armor left on the arm. Switch to Artemis mode. Let's see what we've got left to shoot. 4%. 4. Four, 5. Yeah, we're just gonna brace for now. He's panicked and injured, so that's part of the reason we proved to stress. So his shooting shouldn't be as bad next time around. Uh, how's that look? Alright, we're gonna go around the Hold rock. We may end up needing dead over this way, so something to keep in mind. Alright, inbound leopard with Lyran library. Marking its destination for you. So they're dropping right on top of us. There's the uh, second wave that I was talking about. I think we're fine to ignore the remaining uh, enemy units. We'll go. And we can focus just on this drop here and set up to wipe them out as soon as they land. I think our allies have this well in hand. Hopefully these allies will uh, help us out. We're gonna go ahead and catch them in a crossfire. Hopefully it doesn't result in us getting friendly fire. Big hit on the enemy line holder from our friendly hunchback. A lot of ammo and weapons destroyed. They still have their shoulder mounted lasers. Alright, our turn. Gale and the Marauder is going to stay right here. Maybe we drop the UAV now. 
Yes. Whoops. That was... did not mean to click like that. Did mean to get out of the landing zone. Yes, Commander. Alright, let's see... Right. Artillery mode, high explosive... Seventeen, twenty-eight, twenty-two. Go ahead and try and hit the Panzer Hops. Panzer Hop, it's uh, no luck. I'm gonna fire every turn because I don't think this is gonna last another fourteen turns, and I think we've got about at least ten more shots left. Let's see who's going. All right, we've got Frost. We want to sprint Frost away from this landing zone. And away from any more fire. It would be extremely unfortunate if he was to take more damage. Yeah, that Sunderer is doing some do serious you? work. Alright, we're gonna get the Ostwar Got it. turned Thank around you. over Go here. Go. What? Why does it not have ammo? Okay, that's weird. Very strange. Very strange indeed. You guys gonna come help us out, or are you heading over to the other enemies? It's under just absolutely wrecking what remains of that line holder. Okay. I think he's wiped out. Yes? No? No. He's still standing. That is impressive. That is impressive. He's good. He hasn't even... He's barely scratched the internal structure of the center torso. Ryan, meanwhile, is hitting Friendly Hunchback pretty hard. Standing by. Uh, go ahead and we're going to launch Basic UAV. No. We're going to launch uh, Sparrowhawk UAV. Good to go. And we are going to continue... Do we sprint him over? Alright, we're having some trouble here. There we go. Right, keep him on this side. Targeting landing zone. Commander. Vampire can turn this way. Location confirmed. Oh, good. Actually, we're going to finish off the line holder with him. Uh, standard rounds. Uh, don't fire the remote. Yeah, fire the remote sensors. No, don't fire them. Don't fire them. Should be able to crit something. No? Okay. Two percent, thirty-nine percent. Yeah, just go ahead, hit the thirty-nine percent. Still standing. This thing is just soaking, soaking damage. Crit the gyro. Yes, commander. All right, sprint up. 
into the trees with the thunder. Prepping for this landing zone. Manticore also sprinting up into the trees. Let's see who lands. Alright, Leon Leopard's arriving, more friends to the party. Oh no. Oh no. Two more flyers, what do we got? Stealth Bomber. A Seth Stealth Bomber and a Nidhogg Bomber 2. The Demolisher 2? Oh, we're in trouble. <laughs> And a Typhoon UCV. Okay, we are in Oh boy. Okay, they just passed their turn. Standing by. Uh, move the fin rear up. Alright, hit this Nidhogg before it starts moving. 190 to 60. Oh man. Alright. The game has given us a turn to survive. <laughs> we have one turn to wipe these things out before they start causing some serious issues. See the conclusion of this battle in part 2 of episode 77.